Well, we, we've talked uh, uh, lots of times about what to talk to the group about. You know, you've been told over and over how to feed your bees, how to uh, split your hives. We're looking for something that's a little bit different. And I thought, we have a lot of do-it-yourselfers in the club. And I thought, uh, something that I never saw till I had been a beekeeper for five years, I didn't know I want to buy my frames unassembled and assemble them myself, but it was, it, it was, it was, it was a chore, and uh, the difference. But this is this is a frames unassembled. Can you see that? Can, this is frames unassembled, and and if you buy them already assembled, you're looking at a size like this, the size of a regular brooder box. Now, actually, this brooder, this brooder box, is a little bit different. We had. Quite, quite a, a joke with this brood box. Queen didn't want to do her job, so we put pictures in here so, for her to see how to do her job. And you know, <laughs> she, she, you can see she still didn't do it. So anyway, we need to get that out of the way. I want to, I, I, what I want to introduce you to, for for do-it-yourselfers that would like to save a little bit of space, probably save some postage, and after you get them. It will save you some space. We use what we call a frame jig, and most of you are not. I didn't see one until I've been a beekeeper for five years. Let's see if I can get Mike to zoom in on this. Okay, this is a frame jig. We're going to put this stuff out of the way and, and play with a frame jig. You see that uh, a picture in the, that was actually a Man Lake catalog, that's a 2019 catalog. In the 2021 catalog, they don't even show that, but but I don't know, they may still have it. This is a frame jig. And it's made for 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 assembling frames of a, a full deep hive or, or, or the smaller hive both. See, it comes in halves, and so what we're going to do today is we're going, we're going to assemble a deep frame jig. There's some inserts. This is for the smaller ones, but what we're going to use today are the larger ones. Uh, see if I can show you. Ouch! Can you see the slots in here? I'm going to. I'm going to assemble some some pieces in here. You see, there's a little bit of space between there and the end. And that's where we're going to assemble our frames. The frames, of course, will come in a box like so. Get some of the junk out of the way. Oh, well, naturally. They're all banded together. What I did in the past, I got all this stuff out here. And I'm putting this stuff out here, putting it out here, and I Got to get it all out of here before you put anything together, of course. Once you turn all that loose, now you start trying to put it together. And you, you put a little bit together here, you need to put together here. And you try to hold that while you while you put the bottom in together. And yeah, you, you wind up with, with a mess. There is an easier way, and that's what we call the frame jig. This frame jig we're gonna do this. We put all the pieces in here. The 
first time I saw this done, I almost cried because of the, the times that I had tried to sit and put them together. a difference in the ends of these pieces from the top and the bottom. They're a little bit wider on the top and not so wide on the bottom. So you can tell if you're putting the right end up now we got all our end pieces in place. All we got to do is find our tops and bottoms. In this case, there's not a dime worth of difference. Eventually, we're going to put a foundation in here so that the, 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 the top and the bottom have a slot in them for that purpose. And you, you, can, you can see how that will stay in place really nice. get this done, we're going to actually turn it upside down and do the bottom. See the difference between the top, the top pieces and the bottom piece, you can readily see. This will be, this will be going on the bottom. And that, that's actually slotted for a, a wax foundation. You can, you can get them for any kind of foundation you want. Okay, so I finally got all, put all these in the top, and I'll be ready to nail them in place. You can see how it, well they don't jump around moving your hand and everything. You can see that everything here is plumb and they're tight, and now we're, we're going to just nail them in place with a, uh, this little old Brad gun, the staple gun. I think I got it from Harbor Freight for $23. Now we're halfway through. What we'll do now is turn it over. And now we can do the bottoms. You begin to get my drift here? That this thing is just holding everything square and plumb for you as we put it together. And I thought that that's uh, some a lot. Most of your old timers have seen this, but we got a lot of newbies that are they're do-it-yourselfers, and they didn't know such a thing exists. So. Uh, I'm trying to demonstrate it to you, and we're not going to spend a whole lot of time here. we we'll try to get this done pretty quick.
we're doing 10 frames and of course we're doing obviously we're doing deep deep we'll make sure those are all pushed in good now we'll nail them in place there's a lot of things you can do if you don't have one of these guns and you don't want to buy one glue them or nail them you can those little nails that they come with, they work pretty good. They're not, just not as fast. They're easy. This is pretty easy. <laughs> you know what my neighbor says? This whole senora, she's a puppy widow. She's a pretty good. Through. There you are. There's 10 frames done. Now you probably, probably, next thing you want to put some foundation in them. You know, we get, if we get foundation in a stack, and I'll just pop one in there. So, of course, this is the, the day that it won't be right, you know. <laughs> you just start it in one end or the other, and you just kind of bend it, and pop it in place. If, it, if it's going to go. Let me, let me start it in the other end. These foundations are several years old and they're kind of stiff. Well, what did it say about a monkey and a football? There we go. Get in there. Okay, there we go. Frame snapped in place. And this, this is how your foundation goes. Then you got a complete frame. Pretty easy. You got to you got to do it yourself.